I remember what you did. They remember too. You were the reason that we were all there. It happened because of you. And you can't tell anyone. Why would you? Is It is your fault. All of it. Hello everybody, my name is Mike from Mad Gaming and welcome to Five Nights at Candy's 3. Now, I've played the first two games and they were awesome. I don't normally play Five Nights at Freddy's fan games. But there's something about the Five Nights at Candy's games that captures the atmosphere that made... Now, love it or hate it, Five Nights at Freddy's had an amazing atmosphere. And it was genuinely scary to start... Okay, jump scares, you become desensitized after time. But there was something about the atmosphere of the games and something about the story of the games, no matter how big and how kind of out there the story is now... There was something really awesome about digging through and finding those clues. So, I've played the first two Five Nights at Candy's games. Let's get into this one and see if it's any good. I have played the demo of this game. This is the full version, I should say. And my, my rat, you are very twitchy. I do not know how it will differ to the demo or if it will be the same as the demo. I have no idea. How are you feeling today? It's been two weeks. I understand that it was a very traumatic experience. But luckily your brother wasn't seriously hurt. You have to remember, they weren't real. They were just machines. They aren't capable of harming anyone. What happened was just an accident. He was just broken. But it's okay now, you're safe here. You remember them from the theatre? Ah yes, the old one that you and your father went to a year ago, right? Your father has told me about what happened while you were there. You got separated from each other that day when the incident happened. Have you still had nightmares since we last met? Were they about those monsters you drew for me? You're a very creative girl. But you can't let your fears take control of your imagination. In order for your nightmares to end, you have to face your fears. You have to face the monsters. Show them that you're not afraid. Do you understand? It's the only way. Now, Mary, I need you to try and remember what happened on that day a year ago. I like it so far. Hello, it's me. I'm the Origami Cat. How am I here? You're dreaming right now. Sort of. At least, this room you're in is your old room. From before you moved. But right now, it looks like you barely remember it. You've had a lot of nightmares lately, right? Well, that's why I'm here. I have a couple of tricks to frighten the monsters. Remember a few years ago? You had trouble sleeping almost every night. So your dad gave you a cassette tape player with a tape with quiet music that he made for you so you could sleep. I bet it would also help you with sleeping better now. The other thing is the monsters hate light. I suggest flashing light in their eyes whenever you can. Unless they're under your bed. Listen for if they go there. In such a case, peek under the bed to see which side they're at and go back up and face the opposite direction. Turning your back will lure them out from under the bed. Listen closely for the sound of them peeking out and then face back towards the opposite end of the room again to give them a good dose of light in the eyes. Now, go look for the tape player. I'll stay here if you need my help. Thank you. Thank you, Origami Cat. Hold shift to run. Okay. 
This is the deepscape. This is where your deepest memories are. I'm talking to you from the dreamscape. See those glowing particle thingies? They make up a path. The tape player should be somewhere ahead. Just remember to stay on the path so the shadows can't get you. If you get lost, I can get you back out only if you're on the path. I can't reach you if you're out in the darkness. Let me know if you need to get back by pressing R. Beware of the shadows. Stay on the path. Okay, oh yeah, I'll stay on the path. I like the little uh, minigame art style. That's really cool. It's probably because I've been playing Undertale and I appreciate the uh, old school art style. Now, tape. Ooh, what do we got here? This isn't the tape player, but the path does not necessarily lead to every destination. I.e., I should be exploring, which I obviously just did. That's good news. So I'm deep within my own subconscious? I'm guessing. I mean, like. Oh, yeah, I can. Right, so when I run, I make noise. Part of a newspaper article. Read it. Yes. After closing so soon, the brand new wire animatronics were sent back to. Ah! Rumours are circulating that the animatronics will be used as a base for newer designs of advanced, fully mobile animatronics, which are speculated to be used for future for a future project. Okay. Do not be afraid of stepping slightly off the path. Step too far away from the path, however, and that is when you should be afraid. Well, I just stepped off the path a bit to get the paper. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Much bigger. I was expecting like a tiny mini game and then just throwing me in, kind of like how Boogeyman did, but this is really kind of setting a scene. Part of a newspaper article. After closing so soon, the brand new animatronics were sent back to. <laughs> it was so you can the animatronics will be used as a base. So it's the same thing. Okay, it's the same, exactly the same thing. I don't know why I've got the same thing again. It's kind of weird. But the tape player has to be around here somewhere, right? I am guessing that the running will have some kind of effect. Here we go. Found arcade game one. Nice. Found the tape player. Okay. Back to the dreamscape. Yes, please. I have the tape player. All is golden. Hey, kitty cat. Great, you found it. Do you remember how to use the tape player? No. The tape can help you with sleeping well, which makes the night go by much quicker. Okay, there's three buttons on it that work. Play, stop, and rewind. Unfortunately, the pause and fast forward buttons are broken. Well, shit. But they aren't useful to you now anyway. <clears throat> so don't mind them. Press play to play the tape. Stop to stop the tape where it is. You can only rewind the tape after stopping it. You can stop rewinding by pressing stop while the tape player is rewinding. Once the tape finishes playing, you rewind it as much as you can. That's all. Good luck with the nightmares. I'm rooting for you. Thank you, Origami Candy. Let's go to sleep. Okay. The first night. Okay. Good premise. I like it. I like it. It's throwing me in. It's given me a, a general idea of what I'm doing. I believe this is probably going to be just like the demo. Okay, so remember to use the tape player. Time goes twice as fast while playing. Yeah, this is all very familiar. Hi, Jacksepticeyes and Markiplier. Can I, can I boop you, Mr. Mark? I'm sure there's other YouTubers in here. I know that's Dorco. 8-ball for maybe 8-bit Ryan. Okay. I forgot how to go under the bed. Oh! Hi! Fuck off. Okay, right click. Razbesk, uh, Razbowski. I get it. 
Oh, shit. Where is he? Where is he? I heard you. Okay. At least I don't have power, I suppose. That's, that's kind of one thing. Listen. Oh. In the cupboard. Okay. That's cool. Oh. Okay, I think that might just be the storm outside. Yeah, so this is pretty much like the demo. Uh, ha, 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 I saw you, you bitch. I think you could trick me. No sir, Bob. It's just gone 1am, really? Oh, fuck. Okay, where are you? There you are. Okay. That's good. That's good. It's nice. It's fine. You're doing all right. I'll keep listening out. Oh. Hello. Get out of my cupboard. And into my car? I don't know why a kid would have a car, but... Rewind. Yeah, I heard that. Where is it? Shit, shit, shit. Hi, I remember this. You gotta like aim it at his face while like tripping out. Ah, oh, so it crawled under the bed. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Look this way. There we go. I remember how to do this. I remember. It's gone for now. I'm glad that it tells me. I'm kind of glad. Okay, this should be rebound now. Just, just chill out a bit. Just chill. Listen to my tunes. <sighs> Fuck off, you're knocking on my door again. Bye bye. Okay, I know what I'm doing. 2 a.m. It's the first night. Nope. I knew it. It was very subtle. It's very, very subtle. This is riveting game. This is riveting for you to watch, isn't it? Fuck off. Really? I have to listen so much, so I can't really talk. I like the stickers. They're very nice. Oh, shit. Hello, you bitch. Okay, this isn't, like, really doing much. Rewind. I heard you. Where are you? Could you just go away? Like, you're obviously not wanted. 3 a.m. We're going on. We're getting there. Oh. I can leave the tape player running. I heard him. I heard him. Where is he? Boop your nose. You don't like it when I boop your nose, do you? Do you, bitch? And crawl under the bed. Okay. okay. Let's look under the bed. He's on this side. Okay. So we want to look up this side. We want to... Just wait. There we go. I like the animation. Papers. Okay, so I don't have to sit with the tape. 
I just don't think I do. Oh. Bye bye. I could just literally leave it playing. Number one artist. Blatantly me and my MS paint drawings. Bye bye. Baby, bye bye. What does that say? Emil. Oh, that's the guy who made the game. Look at our for Easter eggs. Boop noses. Oh. Hello, bye bye. Can I boop the candy? Oh, I can I can twitch it. It's kinda of good. Oh fuck, I knocked it over. <laughs> Whoops! Oops. Oh. Where are you? Okay, I can go sort my tape out. I need my nighttime tunes, alright? I need them. I need some funky beats to get to sleep. This little kid's blatantly wearing beats by Dre. Hip with the kids, you know. Bye bye. Okay. 4 a.m. Doing alright, I think. I'm remember kind of remembering what to do. It's good. Bye bye. Five AM. So far, so good. Oh, what? Shit! 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 Okay, I got you. 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 You twitchy little bastard. I got you, you twitchy bastard. There we go. There was a very brief moment of panic there. <laughs> very brief moment of panic. Which side's he under? He's that side this time. Okay, look that way. There he goes. Oh my god, you are ugly. <gasps> what? I fucking had him. I had him. You are a son of a bitch. You know that, right? That was bullshit. I had that. I had that. I was robbed. Oh man, wooden brio tracks. I had those. I fucking love that stuff. I had like a massive load of it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Over there. Okay. Yeah, I fucking love brio. It's amazing. Had tons of it, as I said, absolutely tons of it. I was like massively into trains when I was younger. Kind of sounds like a weird thing to talk about when you're playing a horror game, but oh, get out of my cup! Oh shit, my tape. Okay, so apparently time goes twice as fast while you're listening to the tape. Shit! Shit! I took too long, I took too long, I took too long. Okay, so the the point is you want to get to him kind of straight away. If you take too long, he comes out, and then you have to go through all this shit. And this is where bad things happen, you know. Uh, hi. Okay. I had it that time. I don't know how I failed on the last one, alright? I had my light in his face. Sneaky son of a fucking bitch. I mean, I'm totally fine with him coming out of the closet if he really wants to. I mean, that's completely his choice. You know, I'm all for choice, you know. All for it. Just don't always bother me in my bedroom. Saw ya. Okay, we're halfway through. It's 3 a.m. Same old, same old. I, I imagine this is going to get a lot more difficult. Because there were two. There was the rat and the cat. If I remember from the old Five Nights at the Candies games, it's the rat and the cat. 
He's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. He's fucking there. Okay, okay. We got this. You have to like hold it right over his nose. He doesn't like his nose being tickled. I'm gonna tickle your nose. You will tickle your nose. You will your nose. Tickle you little shit. Okay, which side is he on? There, okay. Same old, same old. Wait for him to come up. Got it. Maybe I wasn't completely on his nose the last time. I don't know. 4 a.m. again. This is night one. I should not be failing on night one. Oh, hello. Come on, I'm nearly at 6 a.m. Seriously. You gonna fuck off? Thank you. I didn't have to do the under the bed thing. God for that. <sighs> I did night one. Shouldn't have taken that much effort. Really shouldn't have. Okay, so where are we? We're not. We in the old pizzeria? I like it. Hey, adults. Screw you. I'm a rebellious kid. Staff area employees only. Just a bunch of newspaper clippings. Why do people always feel the need to put newspaper clippings on the walls? It's a poster for the Rat and the Cat Theatre. Oh, so this is pre Candy's Burger and Fries. I haven't seen the puppeteer's puppet yet. I've heard that it's as big as a person. Hi, sweetie, you having fun? I hope you're happy with the place I picked out. It's just the two of us, while your brother is at camp. So you can decide what we should have for dinner tonight. Well, you've already kind of brought me here. That's the boys' restroom. So this is the very old... These arcade games are so boring. I want to ask the rat if we could get some new ones soon. But then he got a bit angry. The rat is a real jerk. Whack-a-mole. Classic. Please don't hog the games. Share with everyone. Jungle Pinball. Classic. Astro Pinball. Classic. Hello, are you the rat? Hey kid, I'm the rat. Nice to meet you. Say, the show's about to start in a few minutes. Wanna play hide and seek? Yeah, fine, sure. I'll play hide and seek with a weirdo. Nito, you go and hide, then I'll stay here and count to a hundred. Okay, where am I hiding? Can I hide in the bathroom? The cupboard. Yes. Sounds like a really good idea. Haha, <laughs> I found you. You bastard. Okay, that was the first night of Five Nights at Candy's. I'm probably not going to do this by night. I just wanted to put one video out just to see what you guys think of it and whether you would like to see a full playthrough of this game. I'll leave it up to you. But anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. See you again soon.